Tom Cruise is committed. For a plane crash sequence in The Mummy, the actor's upcoming monster movie, Cruise did 64 takes in zero gravity. The sequence took two days to shoot and four high-altitude flights, the filmmakers said during a trailer presentation on Wednesday at Cinemakin. Cruise was offered the option to do the scene on a sound stage, but he insisted on filming the sequence in zero gravity, believing it was important that audiences got the most realistic experience possible. He did not barf, said fellow star Annabelle Wallace at the Universal Pictures presentation, who said much of the 64-person crew became sick to their stomachs. Wallace also held down her lunch, but credited Cruz with being a gentleman. She said I was happy to have Tom on hand to hold back the hair if need, watch the first full trailer for The Mummy reboot starring Tom Cruise. had this idea of creating a zero-g sequence for some time. Tom said, yeah, we're gonna do it for real. We're gonna get on a real plane and we're gonna crash it. And I thought, this is just never gonna happen. There's a real physical challenge in doing zero-g. It was really developed for the Apollo missions. We inject the aircraft into an orbit. You are in free fall, you are weightless. It's a real set built inside a real plane that's actually really going to go 25,000 foot up and go zero gravity. Let's do this. We had to prepare as best we could, but then we don't quite know exactly what's going to happen. Action! We want it to be wild and violent and spontaneous for an audience. They're just seeing it's happening in real time. There's no edit. It's there. Oh my God, so good. Experience this historic stunt in virtual reality at the Austin Convention Center Ballroom B. You're still here. It's over. Go home. You expecting Sam Jackson show up with an eye patch and a saucy little leather number? Go.